Okay, so I just went out and got some greenery. So first I do is I always wear my favorite gloves because you'll get sap on you and it's not fun to try to get off. Next is I use um, Wilt Stop. I got it off Amazon because I couldn't find it anywhere else and I live in a small town anyways. So it's Wilt Stop and then you just mix it with water. I have it in a spray bottle, which is over there, so hold on. And then the kids left it over. Okay, sorry. I have the wood burner going and I'm not trying to freeze out here. Okay, so yes, it's in a chemical bottle. I've been using the same bottle for years now. Okay, so what I do, I do keep all my live greenery outside after I get it shipped. So then I just take it and I just kind of throw it all over the, I bring it in in a wheelbarrow because it's easier. I just kind of throw it all over the garage floor. So just to make this easy. Okay, so here's some of it on the ground. So then I just spray it with the wilt stop. And the wilt stop kind of has like a, like a citrusy smell because it's kind of puts like a wax on the greenery to keep it from turning brown and wilting, I guess. So after I spray it, I usually let it alone for like, I don't know, 10 minutes after it dries and then flip it over and do the other side. So I'll do that. And then we'll use one of the cages that I make. So it's just chicken wire and this foam board um, that you can either buy from Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree or the dollar store. Um, and then I just put floral pins and wire ties. It's kind of easy. Um, I can show you how to make one. I think I have some wire cuts. So let me move this out of the way. Uh, my cutters? Oh, my cutters are in my pocket. Okay, my cutters of course are broke now because I use them all the time. I bought a new pair and they stink. So, let me move some stuff around. This is a live wreath that I made. Okay. So, on my table here, I have these marks that shows me where, um, how long my chicken wire needs to be. And you can see me. So I just kind of laid out where the marks are, get my cutters, and just cut. Now these are not normally the wire cutters that you use, but they're working and they're broke anyways. Um, I believe it is 24 inches, I think. Um, so then I take my foam. I don't unwrap it because it keeps it from kind of like making a mess in people's cars. So then I unwrap it like this. I'll put the foam board in the middle and I kind of just squash it down. Now that's another reason to wear really good gloves because this wire does poke you and it hurts very, very, very bad. Okay, so that's what it looks like squashed down. Now let me get some wire ties.
So, floral pins, wire ties. They're just really little ones. Now I usually take my gloves off because then it gets in the way. So then next, I fold this over. And then I just loop it through both sides. Snug it in. Then I do the other side. Now I didn't plug in my hot glue gun, so it's going to take a minute. Sorry, this is kind of the boring part. Okay. So we got snugged in. I do cut these off at some point. And then I come back to this side and do the same thing. I just fold it over. Just, I don't know. Four inches or so. So there it is. Then we'll just need my hot glue gun to warm up and then we'll, I'll put the hot glue on each of the prongs. I only usually use like two or three, it just depends. And then once I put the hot glue on, I'll just um, stick them into the foam. And I just do that so then this doesn't really shift around. It typically doesn't, but just for my own security and know that what I'm making people are gonna enjoy and it's not gonna fall apart. So there's that. So. I'm gonna make another video after I get the rest of the greenery out and get it all sprayed off and get it flipped. So I'll meet you back here in a little bit.